against each other. And Connor Frankham, young man uh, who's also going to be going to Kansas by way of Wichita. They love their basketball there. We know that. They sure do. He loves his music, Connor. Oh, a nice start for Frankham. All for two, picking it up. Got a quick trigger. That does remind me a little bit yeah, of Steve. Yeah, look at that. I mean, boy, he gets it right in that pocket. Watch the lingering follow through. They both have it. I'd like to see him run through a few screens, though. You know, <laughs> maybe run the curl pattern a few uh, times. I, I think there'll be a lot of head hunting for him <laughs> at UCLA. Well, he's on his way to perhaps taking the lead. Remember, 23, the leader in the clubhouse. Frank Camp doing pretty much the same thing. Young man that's uh, also got that fantastic trigger. Look how quick that release is in the stroke. Well, both of them have beautiful setups. And Bryce, I think, is going to like Paulie Pavilion. They say he's been impressed with it, all the renovations. The money ball goes for Alford to get to 21, and Frank Camp is our new leader. He may get to 36, and he does. Woo. Connor. He was lighting it up playing the nylon song. <laughs> and not bad at all. Wow. Take a look at this uh, Bryce Alford stroke. Uh, of course, he had a pretty good teacher, don't you think? Yeah. Bryce Alford, Amazing. Won the state championship, and of course, Frank Camp, you will be seeing this in Lawrence. A little nylon. Okay. Launching point a little bit more to the side with him mm -hmm. than it would be for Bryce. But uh, Alford hit five straight at one point. Frank Camp got even more rolling as he moved to the wing where he was most effective. Well, congratulations to our four finalists that will be moving on. Frank Camp with 26, Thomas with 23, Alford at 21, and Walton with 18. Back with the finals coming up. <laughs>